So when I woke up this morning, it was raining, and uh, it looked like the winter outside. It was pretty, pretty damn awesome. Um, I'm a winter lover, so I looked out there and I was like, this is, this is perfect. So I sat around and drank some coffee and worked on my video from yesterday, and uh, the sun came out and it was so beautiful. And now the sun's coming out and then it'll go back behind the clouds and then it'll come out again. A beautiful day. It's cool but not cold. I'm sure it'll be cold tonight. I'm just walking around out here, looking at the beautiful views. Tonight's gonna be our third night at Mount Albert Lodge. And man, it's just so peaceful and relaxing here. I really love it. Oh, here comes the sun. I just found this area that I really liked last year. It's where all the baby Christmas trees live. Check this out. I think I found the cutest one right here. I'm just walking along the river and you know, I'm constantly blown away by the scenery. It's like I can look at it over and over and over, and every time I can still be surprised by how big the view is. Really staying here at Mount Upper Lodge, it's, it's remote enough where you don't even need to watch TV or go do anything. You can just go outside and it's like nothing you could really experience in a city. Um, I guess maybe something you can only experience in the mountains. But it, it, it's entertaining just to be here. Check out this dead tree leaning over the river. With a live tree. Last year this was much more narrow and we crossed it. This time I don't, I don't see myself taking the chance of crossing this. That's a muddy mess. There's another way around. You can go around this little pond. It's a pretty big walk. Every time we visit Colorado, we try to figure out a way to move here or a way to not go home. <laughs> it's not that we don't love everything that we have at home, but it just feels so good to be here, and it always does. But, you know, I guess that's kind of how it is for me. Anytime I go on vacation somewhere, I usually want to stay, you know, if it's a cool place to be. Somebody built a little rock wall here. And it's interesting, when you talk to the locals, um, it's not like they're like, oh, no, we don't need more people or anything like that. They're like, you should come. You should just sell everything you have and move up here. That's like the general response. And you know, most of the people I meet here, they weren't born here. They came here to visit and loved it so much that they moved here. Um, I don't know if I'll find a way to move here anytime soon, but I can see it as a real option for me. I, I love it here. I've been walking around out here for about 30 or 40 minutes and I just heard the first car go by that, I, that I've heard since I've been out here today. <laughs> That's wonderful. And we're not, on a, um, we're not on a country road or anything. We're on a little highway that links the Maroon Bells area with the uh, Arkansas River Valley, I guess is the right way to say it. Basically it links Aspen with Leadville. So you'd think there'd be a lot of people driving by, but there's not that many people. You know, just a car here and a car there every once in a while. Hey, you can see some of the buildings of Mount Albert Lodge up on the hill. I'm just gonna go find a place to sit and wiggle my stick for a little while. 